Hello, uh, greetings from um, Granger, Indiana, in the United States of America. And it's been my honor to be able to be invited into your in-stay graduation in Ukraine. Uh, my honor in that, I congratulate all of you for your hard work and investment of your time, of your spirit, uh, of your families. I know you're appreciative, those of you that have families, uh, your family have sacrificed their time and energy. I know you appreciate that sacrifice they've made. I think about your teachers, uh, your pastor, and uh, the, the churches that you represent uh, as you come into this part of your spiritual journey. I congratulate you. And uh, it, this is an important moment, and I believe that moments uh, spiritually, scripturally, biblically need to be celebrated. So we celebrate this moment with you. Marcel joins me in that. I was thinking of just behind me uh, here in my office in Granger, Indiana, are the different pieces of paper that I've been and Marcel has been presented. This wall right up here goes that way and on down uh, where we share uh, together those uh, those mementos of different times in our lives where we've accomplished uh, certain sets of criteria whereby you're presented like you are today uh, with uh, that accomplishment. However, uh, in the midst of all this congratulation, I want to bring a challenge from the Word of God. And that is that no matter how many pieces of paper that you have, I point up and across and down, no matter how many pieces of paper that you have and possess, and how many moments like this you capture, that it's important for us to realize that this today is not an end in itself. Now, brace yourself because this challenge is going to be strong. Today is not even a breather. It's maybe some refreshments, maybe some handshakes, high fives, fist bumps, whatever it is you do to congratulate uh, each other. Today is not even a breather because nothing in this world is an end in itself. And my strongest challenge to you and my strongest encouragement you this day is to be looking ahead to what God is opening up for you because of today. And whatever ministry that is, I want you to see that your accomplishment today helps you take a step deeper in God and a, and a step more developed and stronger in your perseverance as we fix our eyes upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. That today, I challenge you, is that moment whereby you realize we need to strive on and go further in God. Now, I think that's ministry. I believe all of us have ministry opportunities at hand all the time. And God has ministry opportunity for you right now. Just like God spoke, and we can see this in Deuteronomy, the first chapter, the children of Israel had wandered in the wilderness. And the reason God had them wandering out here with not knowing what it is they were supposed to do was because they didn't wait upon God and then execute what God says. See, this is an important thing. You and I, we wait upon him to speak to us, and then we go and possess the land. We don't expect God to wait on us. We wait on God. We don't tell God what to do. God tells us what to do. I think that's an important, I mentioned that Deuteronomy, the first chapter passage, where God said, go up and possess the land. Now, Moses said that instead of going up and possessing the land, the people came to him and said, before we do that, let's send out these spies so that we can plan our trip. 
We need to prepare. We need to plan the trip. I'm not sure that's what God wanted at all. God wanted all 1.5 million Hebrews and their families to go together and possess the land. Keep moving forward. Don't take the breath. Don't pause long enough to really scratch their heads and wonder, is this really God? Because when God says go up, we need to go up now. And God's speaking that into your life right now. This moment of graduation is not your moment of rest. Now's your go time. Now's your go and possess the land time. With many of us, it might mean furthering your education further even now. Yeah, did I have to say that today? Yes. I think we should always be progressing and developing and extending our education. I also believe that it means that we need to always be active in ministry. Preparation for ministry is no excuse not to be ministering. And I believe it's important for us to see that and realize that. It's not about all these pieces of paper, and it's not about your title. It's not about your position. It's about possessing the land that God gives you in ministry. And it's for us to push back the clouds of darkness. This day of accomplishment that you're enjoying today is about the accomplishment of God wants what God wants to do in you today and tomorrow and on into eternity. So my challenge to you in these moments is to be active and aware and start today. Don't even wait till tomorrow. And we need to understand that it's not just about a title or a paid ministry. You can minister anywhere and everywhere. All of you come from great ministries right now. There's something that God has you for you to do right now. And most everyone that's listening to me, you already know what it is. God's already saying, go and possess the land. And what we need to do is go and do what God's spoken to us to do. That's my prayer. I want to have a prayer together with you. I'm going to reach out my hands like this across these miles. And I'm asking God for his special anointing upon each of you today. Father, I thank you for how you spoke to the Hebrews to go and possess the land. But you're speaking to those within the sound of my voice to do the same thing today. Right now, this moment, we ask for consecration of heart and mind to go and possess the ministry lands that you have for us. We surrender ourselves and yield ourselves completely and totally to you. In Jesus' name, and we said together, amen, amen. God bless you again, congratulations. But most importantly, go and possess the land.